Hey everybody, it's One-Eyed Willie again. I wanted to go over uh, uh, how to, to upgrade your rear brakes on a C4 Corvette. Uh, this side here is done, minus the brake hose, which was about six inches too short once I put this adapter on. So what we've got here, this is the uh, adapter, one of them, since I've already installed the driver's side. Uh, comes with all the bolts and everything you need. Doesn't look like much. Uh, but what is nice is all the calculations have been done so that when all this, when all of this bolts up, it will uh, fit properly. So I went ahead and bought these uh, Reman calipers from Rock Auto. Uh, these are, I believe, Power Stop. Those are the two part numbers. L4698. L4699. This one is already installed. Uh, you can see the difference between the stock C4 caliper here on the right and this is the C6 JL9 uh, caliper and bracket. All is one. Pretty reasonable. Um, these are the pads. You can see there's not really any size difference. Uh, maybe maybe a three-eighths of an inch longer. Not a big difference on the pad. However, on the rotor with this uh, adapter set, you can see the uh, rotor is, at, it's uh, 13 inch instead of 12 inch. And if you open it up, you can see how much thicker this one is versus the other one. So a lot beefier rotor. Now these are Ray Bestus, and the reason I got them is they're extremely reasonable for what you're getting. Um, you're getting slotted rotors, which are typically for racing. Uh, there's the uh, part number if you need it. Um, but very pleased with the quality of Ray Bestus to begin with, but these are really awesome. Uh, so let's move on. So this is what it looks like installed. Okay, so let's go around in the back so you can see what it is. Uh, this is the adapter. This is the um, original uh, caliper bracket mount. And down here as well. Uh, you, can, you can't see it now, but I'll show you later what you have to do to get this to fit properly. So you can see uh, how well it lines up as far as spaced. So you know you don't have any rubbing on the caliper. Now this, this kit comes from Dale on eBay and I'll put a link in. I've also used his front kits. And he gives you these directions uh, which are pretty good. I had to ask a few questions just to make sure before I started monkeying around. But um, you'll be very pleased Dale. He even leaves his phone number. You can call him and uh, if you have any questions after you buy it and he'll even tell you what to buy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this off and uh, I'll time lapse this so you're not sitting there for an hour watching me do this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get this spring off. There we go. Okay, next um, with a six, I believe it's six millimeter, I'm gonna loosen the bracket for the parking brake. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this off. Take the caliper. I'm gonna take the caliper off. Okay, now I'm also going to go ahead and take this uh, Break cable off. It should be 13. Brake hose is off. Caliper's off. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this bracket here. I 
once I take that off, this should come right out. And there's that. Okay, take these pads out. So now I'm going to get the caliper bracket off, 19 millimeter. These are always tight because I always lock tight them on. And there's the caliper bracket. Okay, so everything's off. Go ahead and pull the rotor off. It's not bad. I, uh, I keep a good eye on it because it's a trick. And uh, the parking brake will not work after we do this conversion. So keep that in mind. You may not want to do this at all. So before I put the rotor and everything on, we're going to go ahead and dry fit this just so you can see it. All right, this flathead, pinhead, 12 millimeter bolt uh, runs into the caliper bracket. So I'm going to countersink that. Okay. I've got to countersink it quite a bit so it's almost completely flush right here. I've got a 82 degree countersink tool. You can also use a 90. You're going to want to countersink this so that this ends up flush. Now hopefully you can see that. It's not quite flush yet, so I still got to go some more. And by the way, I like multi-flute chamfer tools because they help center themselves as you're pushing. This is uh, not a very accurate way to do this to begin with. It's pretty flush right there. That's probably good enough. So let's go ahead and uh, put this all together. Okay, so you got the 12 millimeter there, you got the 12 millimeter uh, flathead here. Okay, then you want uh, two small washers, your two lock nuts. Put the washers on. I know these are lock nuts, but I'm still putting a little bit of thread lock on it. Just because uh, I don't like brakes coming loose. Just a thing, I guess. Petrified of running into walls. I'm using H8 here, H10 up here, and 19. We're going to torque this at that much. Isn't that funny? I can still move the nut even after that's as tight as it can go. All right, and we'll do the top one again just to make sure. Same there. There we go. I meant to do that. That's what I do. I drop stuff to test my reflexes. I've got this hand tight 
the caliper and just holding the rotor to make sure that the spacing down on the rotor that it isn't hitting anything when it's flush top or bottom either side so now that i know that when the rotor is flush it's not hitting the bracket anywhere okay i'm going to go ahead and pull this off and put some loctite on it and tighten it all up okay so now i'm going to pull the uh, caliper off so that I can put the pads in. I believe it's a 17 and a 13. Nope. 17 and a, or 18 and a 13. Caliper grease. Put some right there. Right there. Right here. Okay. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, the only, I've got to disconnect all the parking brake line. I'll do that underneath so I can get rid of all this. And then I've got to take this off. I need a, at least an 18 inch uh, brake hose. Uh, it's on order, so it'll be here tomorrow. I'm not gonna show you that. It's pretty simple, disconnect it here and here. Take it out, put a new one in, hook it up down there. That's about it. Uh, after I change the brake hose, then I'll bleed the brakes and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somewhat. Uh, stay safe on the track. God bless.